10 tests of 100. So now we can up, we can up it a lot. How can I do that kind of easily in Excel? There's different techniques. I'm gonna make this one a little bit skinnier. I'll make this skinnier. I'm gonna put my formatting format by selecting all of this and go to the home tab, font group borders. I'll make them blue. That's just my normal thing. And I'll do the same down. Let's pull these. I'm gonna highlight these and cut them. Right click and cut instead of copy and then right click and paste. That just moves them to the right so that I can see the average or mean, and then home tab, font group, brackets, and blue on that. All right, so, so let's also make a skinny V. So one technique I could use, I could say, well, let me just copy the entire thing that has my random generator over here, and then, and I'll copy it over 10 times, and then I'll randomly generate 10 sets of numbers, and then I'll go through and I'll, I'll pick up and I'll, I'll cut off like the extra numbers. So let me show what, what I mean. What I'm trying to get at is to make 100, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to make 10 tests of 100. So I can take, this is my random generator of the entire population. Let me copy those two. I'm gonna copy L to M and then just simply right click and copy. And then I'm, I'm just gonna paste it as they are 10 times. So I'm gonna put my cursor on, on W, right click and paste. I, uh, hold on a sec, I copied again. <laughs> Let me do it again. Copy these two and then put my cursor right click and paste, just normal pasting. And then I'm gonna do that 10 times. There's one, I'm gonna do it on Z, control V or paste. There's two over here, control V or paste. I'm gonna use the clicks uh, to control V three, control V four, control V five, control V six, control V seven, control V eight, control V nine, and control V 10. So now we've got our data. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make uh, all of the center points smaller. So I've got these non-adjacent cells. So we're just practicing using Excel here. I'm gonna put my cursor on Y, hold down control, put my cursor on AB. Let go of control when you're moving around usually, but I hold down control so I can select these non-adjacent or not next to each other columns. So I'll select this one, holding down control, this one, holding down control, holding down control. Now notice I messed up because, and if I do that, it's not gonna work because now I got the cell in here. So if I try to manipulate this column, they might not all manipulate together. So I got to do it again. I'm going to say, okay, I messed up. Y, hold down control, hold down control. I'm going to select all these middle ones. Boom, boom, boom. And then boom, boom, boom. And now when I make them skinny, they should all become the same skinny. We want them to be the same skinny. All right, so there we have uh, all of our random numbers. So now because these random numbers generate every time, I can just sort by whatever the random number is on. So that 65 should change if I go from you know A to Z. So I'm just gonna randomly sort these, all of these from A to Z, and they should randomly sort up. So I gotta do this 10 times. So I think I'm on this one anyone that has that 65 up top. So there's that one changed. This, I think I changed this one. <laughs> so I'll randomly sort each one. So I'm on AU, randomly sort, randomly sort, and randomly sort. Okay, so now, now what I wanna do is copy just the results and then I'll paste them into a table. So I'll have my 10 result columns. So I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna put my cursor on just the X, the result. I'm gonna hold down control, select the results, holding down control, letting go of control as I move to the right. So I can hold the control again 
and select all of the columns, letting go of control, holding control again, and then control C or right click and copy. So now I've copied, even though they're not all next to each other. When I paste them, they will be all next to each other. So I'm gonna put them in A in B E, right click and paste. And then I don't really need the table formatting, so I'm just gonna paste one, two, three. And there, and there we have it. So now we have all of our our data. And I might call this, you know, sample, this will be SAMP1, tab, SAMP2, and then Excel will be able to read that even though I have a, a label in front of it. So I select those two cells, put my cursor on the fill handle, drag it to the right, and so now Excel can see those. I'm gonna make this a header. I'm gonna, instead of putting a table in, I'm gonna go to the Home tab, Font Group, drop down on the bucket, and I, I usually make the, the headers black and white, black, and then the, the labels white if I don't insert a table. And then I'm gonna go to the centering right there. So there we have it. And then on this data, what I want is it to go down to a uh, hundred. So let's do a count here. And I'll count this. Let's make this black, white, and centered. And I'll say this is simply gonna be one, two, and so on, I'll select those two, put my cursor on the fill handle and drag it down. And you can see it, it's predicting the next number down to 100. So we'll bring that on down to 100. So there we have it right there. And then everything beyond that, I wanna delete the data because we just wanted a random sample of 100. So I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna hold control I'm holding shift and selecting these. You can do it this way or you can use the keyboard and hold shift. And then I'm gonna select control shift, down arrow, and that takes me directly to the bottom number. And then I simply wanna delete all of that stuff. So now we've got basically a random sample of our population, right? So, so this is just some, how we can kind of practice with this stuff in Excel. And then if I, if I select all of this data, let's just format it like I normally do with the, uh, the blue. So I'll select this thing and we'll go to the insert tab, uh, home tab, I mean, font borders, and I'll make it blue. All right, and then we'll, and then we'll do our, we can, we can take our average of all of them, average, and I can take, so I can look at each of these samples and see how close you know they line up to the 